What is up, guys? Gang is back on the channel, and as you can see from the title, we're going to be going through every team's odds to win the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Leave a like. So, yeah, we've, we're just going to go through all 32 teams. We're not going to get very into much details. I want to keep this as short as possible. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to go through them. Yeah, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. That's the best way to share your support on the channel. Subscribe if you like all sports. We got two videos a week going here. And then on a second channel, we got two videos a week going up there. Uh, subscribe to both channels. Turn on notifications to both channels. Uh, yeah, and you'll never miss a video. Um, and comment down below if you disagree with uh, like my uh, who I think will win. And yeah. All right, so we're going from best odds to worst odds. Kansas City Chiefs got four to one odds. I that doesn't surprise me. They they're bringing back almost the same team. Uh, like they haven't really changed anything, and they'll hope they'll probably be a good team. Yeah, Baltimore Ravens got thirteen and two odds. Uh, I don't. I mean, I guess I can see them uh, pulling this off, pulling a Super Bowl win off, but. They didn't last year, and they choked. Their the receiving game isn't great, uh, and you have a you have a quarterback who's really pretty good at throwing, but he but he is a running back. Um, basically, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Uh, New Orleans Saints, eleven to one odds. I think they should. They they were they were definitely. Oh, I skipped the 49ers. seven to one odds. 49ers are bringing back basically the same team. They were Super Bowl finalists last year, crushing the Packers uh, in the NFC Championship. I was kind of surprised at that. Um, but, yeah, I think the 49ers do have a shot at winning, but it depends on who the AFC team they'll be going up against is. New Orleans Saints, 11-1 to odds. Like I was saying, they should have they should have been in the Super Bowl last year. I mean... They got barely beaten by the Vikings. Uh, and, like, what else am I saying? I mean, yeah. Like, they've got a great QB. They've got good wide receivers in Michael Thomas, uh, Ted Ginn. Uh, they, you've got Alvin Kamara, pretty good running back. And you've got Taysom Hill. I think his name's Taysom Hill. I forget. I really do forget. Yeah, Taysom Hill. Um... Yeah, that that's a good team. Dallas Cowboys, twelve to one odds. See, I don't understand. They haven't really done anything this off season. I mean, like, and they brought a new coach in. The Cowboys, I mean, the Packers' old coach. Um. Yeah, I guess I could see them like going after a new draft pick. Um. Um, and yeah, you've you've got a good deal with uh. You're going to get a good deal with Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott. Um, yeah. Um, okay, what else? Yeah. Then we got Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Obviously, they 16-1 to odds. Obviously, they made the move to sign Tom Brady. Uh, and they've got a good receiving core in there. Uh, and with and you get a quarterback who could throw the ball. That's a good, that's a good thing. Like, you've got Rashad Perry, man. He's our third wide receiver, but then when uh, Godwin, no, Evans got injured at the end of the year, he was pretty good at filling in that second receiver role. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans are great, are great players. And, yeah, uh, Philadelphia Eagles, 17-1 to 1 odds. You've got a good wide receiver now, Sean Jeffrey. Your QB is okay. Um, and, like, you don't really have a great running back, uh, something they might look to improve this offseason. Um, but yeah, it's a yeah. Uh, then you got Seattle Seahawks, seventeen to one odds. You've got good receivers. You've got Tyler Lockett. You've got DK Metcalf. You've got a good QB in Russell Wilson. Your running backs are good, Chris Carson. Um, and yeah, uh, I like their odds. Um, Green Bay Packers, eighteen to one odds. I don't really think that. I don't really agree with their odds. I think that like. They've got Aaron Rodgers, and they, they, uh, their wide receivers aren't great, um, and their running back situation. I mean, Aaron Jones. Yeah, he's that. That's yeah. 
yeah, it's just not great. Um, then we've got uh, New England Patriots twenty to one odds. See, that's overrating them. They don't have they have running back, but they don't have a quarterback yet. Like they won't be able to play their backup. Uh, I could maybe see them going after like Dak Prescott or something, but like you know, they're just not. It's just not great. Um, and like they've only got two wide receivers, Mahab Sanu and Julian Edelman. Um, yeah. Buffalo Bills, 20 to 1. Buffalo Bills just got Stefan Diggs. They've got Josh Allen. Your running back situation's a little shaky. Um, but I feel like you can improve that. Maybe go after some other running back in this offseason. I wouldn't have been surprised to see them go after like Todd Gurley, but uh yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers, 25 1 odds. You've got Big Ben coming back. You've got Juju. You've got James Conner. It's not really like it's not the best team, but it's not worst. I think their odds are a little, little overrating them, but uh, yeah. Indianapolis Colts, no, they're. I mean, they've got T. Y. Hilton. Like uh, they don't really have a great QB. Uh, maybe draft one this year. Not Joe Burrow, obviously, because the Bengals are gonna take him. Um, because like the Bengals were in trade talks with them, and then the Chargers. Yeah, you've got. Hunter Henry, you don't have Philip Rivers anymore. Um, but yeah, you can go get another quarterback. I believe they got James Winston, right? For some reason I feel like they got James Winston. No, James Winston. No, nah, James Winston's a free agent. Sorry about that. Uh and yeah. Alright. So those I know I said I'd go through every team, but that's like the teams with the most odds. Uh, yeah, actually, hold on. The car, actually, there was a team I wanted to talk about. Arizona Cardinals, 60 to 1 odds. You, uh, and Texans, also 60 to 1 odds. I feel like the Texans are, like, I feel like the Texans, their odds, like, they've now got, uh, three wide receivers. I don't know if you saw recently, but they recently traded for Brandon Cooks. Um, yeah. Uh, and now they have Kenny Stills, Will Fuller, and, uh, what's his face? Uh, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks did have an off year last year, but I expect to see him come back. He was just coming back from a lot of, a lot of injuries. Uh, and, yeah. And then also the Cardinal. And you've also got a good QB in Deshaun Watson and a good running back in David Johnson. And with the Cardinals, you've got a good QB in, uh, What's it, what's his face? Uh, oh my God, Ky- Kyler Murray. He's great. He's good. He had he wasn't great last year, but he's gonna pick it up. I promise you. Uh, you've got Kenyon Drake as your running back. You've got three wide receivers now. You can rely on Christian Kirk, Larry Fitzgerald, and new newly newly acquired DeAndre Hopkins. And the last t- team, Cincinnati Bengals, two hundred to one odds. I mean, they're not gonna win the Super Bowl. Getting Joe Burrow, maybe having AJ Green back. I don't know. Probably faking injury again. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm like the Bengals' chances to win the Super Bowl. I mean, they've got Joe Mixon. Uh, but yeah, that's good. That is going to conclude today's video. Tell me what you think about our odds down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Click here to subscribe to my other other channel. Click here uh, to see more football videos and click there to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for another video. So long.